Hello? Me, 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 uh, hello? Uh, oh no. Um, <clears throat> hi. 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 Oh, oh, hi, hi, hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I was just so tired that I was catching a few seeds. <laughs> That's okay. Hi, my name's Sam. Oh, hi. My name's Coco. Hey, do you know my friends Snugs and Nudge? They told me about you. I do. My name's Sam. It's nice to meet you, Coco. Oh, it's nice to meet you too, Sam. Why are you so tired, Coco? Oh, well, I've been trying to get back into shape, and so I've been doing lots of exercise. <sighs> exercise can be exhausting. I've been trying to get back into shape too after lockdown. What exercise have you been doing? Oh, well, I've been doing some Pilates to work on my core strength, and then some running for cardio, and... <gasps> oh. oh, no. Uh, I think Coco's fallen back asleep. Can you help me wake her up? On the count of three, we'll all yell, wake up, Coco, and hopefully that'll do the trick. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. Wake up, Coco! Oh, oh. Sorry, Sam. How rude of me. Don't worry about it, Coco. Hey, did you know that in the book of Revelation in the Bible, Jesus writes a letter to a church that is also quite sleepy? Oh, a sleepy church? <laughs> That's so strange. Can you tell me more about this letter? Well, in Revelation chapter 3, Jesus writes a letter to the church in Sardis. Jesus gives them a big warning. He says that he knows what they are doing. They think that they're alive, but really, they're dead. He tells them to wake up. Oh, but I don't understand. How can they wake up from being dead? Well, Jesus isn't saying that the church in Sardis is physically dead. He's talking about the church spiritually. He's saying that they are not completely obeying God. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. So they were coming a bit lazy in their faith and maybe not being faithful to God's teaching. That's right, Coco. Jesus reminds the church in Sardis to hold firmly to his teaching and to turn away from their sin. Oh, but what will happen if they don't wake up and continue to be lazy in their faith? Well, Jesus warns the church that he will come when they least expect him to, just like a thief. So they need to wake up and be faithful to God's teaching. Were all of the people in the church of Sardis lazy and sleepy in their faith? Well, you know what, Coco? No, they weren't. Not all of them. There were some people in the church in Sardis who had been obedient. Jesus says they will wear white clothes. Hmm, well, that's a bit confusing. <laughs> Why would they wear white clothes? Well, it is a bit confusing, Coco, but in the book of Revelation, there are lots of special symbols and pictures. White clothes are a special symbol or picture for being clean from sin. Jesus says that whoever wins the victory will wear white clothes and their names will not be erased from the book of life. Is the church in Sardis going into battle? What victory will they win? Well, those who have been faithful in following Jesus will have victory over sin. This is not because they've done good things, not at all, but it's because Jesus has won the victory over sin by rising from the dead. Ooh, yes, I know, because the punishment from sin is death. If Jesus rose from the dead, he has victory over sin. That's right, Coco. Oh, but Sam, hmm. can you tell me more about the Book of Life? Is it like a storybook that my mum and dad read to me at night? Not quite, Coco. The Book of Life has the name of those who are saved from sin through their faith in Jesus. The people in the Book of Life will one day live with Jesus in heaven forever. Jesus says to the church in Sardis that he will tell God and his angels who his followers are. Well, but I want to have my name in the Book of Life. So I guess I need to make sure that I stay awake in my faith. I need to keep my eyes open and hold firmly to my faith and turn away from sin. That's right, Coco. I need to do that as well. Hey, mm -hmm. Snugs has been learning a memory verse. Do you want me to teach it to you? Oh, yes, I'd love that. Okay, well, 
I'll teach it to you and then you can have a go and then maybe we can all do it together. Does oh, that sound like a plan? Great. Okay, it says, I am coming soon, so hold firmly to what you have and no one will take away the crown that will be given as your reward. Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. Oh, great. Have you got that? Can I have a go? Okay, you have a go. I'll do the actions with you. Are oh, you ready? thanks. Okay. I am coming soon, so hold firmly to what you have, and no one will take away the crown that will be given as your reward. Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. That was perfect. Oh. Good work, Coco. Okay, let's all try it together. So if you're watching, you try it as well and we'll do it together. Are you ready, Coco? Great. All right. I am coming soon, so hold firmly to what you have and no one will take away the crown that will be given as your reward. Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. Oh, thanks, Sam. That was so good. Hey, Sam. Yeah. My friend Snugs likes to share riddles. A riddle is like a puzzle for your brain. I love riddles. Do you have one you'd like to share? I do, I do, I okay. do. Ooh, hit me. Okay. What question can never be answered with yes? Ooh. What question can never be answered with yes? I don't know. I don't know. Coco, help me out. Okay, what is it? Okay, okay. Well, it's this. Are you asleep? Ah, are you asleep? Because yes. if you answer yes, then you're clearly not asleep. That's right. Oh, Sam, it's been so lovely to meet you. It's been so great to meet you too, Coco. Hey, maybe next week we could meet up and talk about the church in Philadelphia. Oh, that would be great. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Coco.